I've been playing a ton of Battlefield 4 lately. I've been absolutely loving the game, playing things that I hadn't really experienced in my previous 2000 hours of playtime. So I've been going and trying out some modes that maybe I didn't play a whole lot of. Definitely Rush. Whilst I played tons of Rush in BF3 and to be fair, quite a lot in Battlefield 4, I hadn't really played loads of it as an infantry player more you know, I'd get in a vehicle or do a mixture of infantry and vehicles. Now I've been focusing pretty much purely on infantry and Rush, you know, it's a mode that I absolutely love despite some of the map problems in BF4. This video though is going to focus on something a little bit different. I set myself a challenge. I wanted to find five maps in Battlefield 4 that kind of did everything for me, almost like my favourite five maps in the game. If you were to say you're only allowed to play five maps in Battlefield 4 again, which five would you pick and which modes would they be on? So the gameplay you can see in the background, I've tried to find from those exact maps on those exact modes. Some of them might not match up entirely because as you know, sometimes it can be difficult to find the exact play account mode and map you want on Battlefield 4. However, I did get it down to five, and I would be happy to play these five on repeat for, well, the rest of the time I play Battlefield 4, because I think they offer everything you need from a Battlefield game, and they are perfect. There are a few little tweaks to the maps that I might choose to make, but as I said, my best five map and mode combinations. If you could leave your best five maps down below in the comments, obviously you could let me know if you're planning to play them on Rush or Conquest or Domination or whatever it is. I'm really interested to see what you pick. I'm sure there'll be some really unusual choices down there as some people prefer Conquest Large on Altai Range, whilst others might prefer Operation Locker TDM. There's loads of different choices. So let's get into it. So as you see in the background, we've been looking at some Pearl Market gameplay and this one comes in as one of the best infantry maps, if not the best infantry map in Battlefield 4. There are a few parts of it that aren't ideal, and maybe it plays better on Rush at times, but for me, Pearl Market Conquest is a fantastic experience as an infantry player. I really enjoy it. I think it's great if you're playing with friends in a squad. Due to the verticality as well, you can have lots of annoying moments with claymores, but epic moments getting behind enemy players, jumping down behind them and taking them down. The engagement ranges are pretty much spot on. You can take essentially any weapon you want. I'd say sniping is the only class, you know, long range sniping is the only kind of class that you can't enjoy that much if that's your thing. You can sit on a rooftop and shoot people and there are some battle pickups that, you know, are snipers, so it's definitely possible, but it's more for close quarter infantry. Uh, maybe that medium range from rooftop to rooftop, as you see in a few of these clips, I'm using the Scar H, which is kind of the ideal weapon for me on this map. It was part of the uh, the Dragon's Teeth DLC, and I believe they did set it in Hong Kong. It's really, really fun though, and I'd say it's one of the best infantry maps on the game. For the next map, I wanted an all-out battlefield map. I wanted complete all-out war on a massive conquest map. Whilst Caspian Border isn't as good as it was in Battlefield 3, in my opinion, I think the BF3 one was a better map, I think it's still one of the best conquest maps in Battlefield 4. You can take a tank and have a lot of fun. Attack helicopter, jet, long-range sniping, you can tow things across the map with the launcher. There's big Levolution events in the center of the map. It's got loads of cool-looking flags. It is absolutely massive, this map and you can do pretty much everything on it. I'm not saying it's perfect. Trust me, there are so many problems with this map, and especially with the vehicle balance, you know, there's lots of things that need to be altered if it was to be perfect. But remember, I'm putting together my top five maps. If it was in a rotation, it would offer me everything I wanted from Battlefield 4. So I think Caspian Border Conquest Large is on there. There were a few other choices when it came to massive Conquest maps. Paracel Storm's one that I really, really like. Maybe I'd be looking at potentially a Rogue Transmission, as that has all of the vehicles on it as well. Or I could go to Final Stand and go for a Hammerhead or something like that. Hammerhead being a map that I do really, really like. But recently, Caspian Border is a map that I've enjoyed playing, and I think it would go down in my top five as an all-out war experience that just ticks a lot of boxes. Now for a map that ticks a lot of boxes again, but this time it'll be 
for slightly different reasons. Whether you play it on Rush, as the gameplay you see in the background, or Conquest, where I think this map really excels, Zavod 311 is potentially the most balanced map in the game, especially for Conquest. The flag layout, everything about this map, just lends itself to a really balanced game, and it's probably the best map for tankers where the tank isn't just completely overpowered. The tank has a lot of things up against it, of course you have the enemy armour, but infantry can also hide away from tanks, with the map being quite straightforward in terms of the lanes, with a lane on either side of the map, and in that central lane, it, it's just really, really fun. And I think a lot of people put Zavod up there as one of their favourite maps. The only thing that Zavod 3 and one doesn't do is that visual aspect. I don't think it's a very good looking map, it's not very interesting, with lots of dull looking grey and brown buildings, it's not exactly as visually appealing as maybe Caspian Border is, or even if you look at a map like Operation Mortar, that is just a real treat to look at. It's still an epic map though Zavod, and if I was to pick my top 5 maps and my top 5 modes to go alongside them, Zavod 311 Conquest would probably be there. Ultimately you want a mode that is going to offer you everything, and I think Conquest does that. Rush though, if you're infantry focused, is probably going to be a better choice. Again, a map from the Dragon's Teeth expansion, Propaganda is an incredible map. It has a significant focus on infantry combat, however, the tanking is just incredible. It's one of the best tank maps in the game. Is it because you don't have air vehicles to annoy you? Possibly. Could it be that there's so much hard cover and really predictable combat in terms of where enemies are going to be, where the rotations are going to be, the kind of the lanes on the map. It's just awesome. I think that's the main reason why I enjoy this map so much as either an infantry player or a tanker. The main evolution event on this map is the train that passes through. It always provides entertainment as it kills anything that it hits and there's always somebody there that gets flattened by it. You've got quad bikes, you've got a few battle pickups and two roars these robots that go around the place and they can also lead to some quite interesting only in battlefield moments interestingly for anyone who wanted to know this levolution event on propaganda the train was originally planned to derail and collapse the tower at some point i think they maybe dropped it because it just wasn't really feasible for the consoles because of the memory constraints and they would have to remove certain things from the map in order to make it happen and honestly some of the bigger levolution events aren't always that good sometimes you want just a smaller one that can be repeated and the train passing through is pretty much perfect in my opinion what mode would I play on it though? This is an interesting one. You have all the base modes of course, and to be honest I'll probably settle with Conquest, but with the Dragon's Teeth expansion, you've got Capture the Flag and Chainlink. I don't really like Capture the Flag all that much, it's not a mode that really interests me, but Chainlink, now that's a mode that I really enjoy. It's almost like Frontlines, but you know, a slightly different rule set, but the way that infantry move backwards and forwards from flag to flag, or as they're supposed to, it can be really, really fun. So I definitely go for Conquest on Propaganda, but Chainlink in a close second because it offers something just really different and quite fun. Finally, we're going for a bit of a wild card here. If I was to pick my top five favorite maps, Operation Locker probably wouldn't be there. I don't feel like it's a map that suits me that much. I have played it quite a lot, but there are so many things on there that just make me annoyed. The fact it's usually just a grenade spam through a corridor. However, controversially, I am going to include it, and the reason for this is I think you need a good balance of your big battlefield maps and then your infantry focus maps. So whilst a lot of you will probably be thinking, why haven't you included a only in battlefield sort of conquest map that really summarizes Battlefield 4, maybe a Siege of Shanghai or a Dawnbreaker or a Golmwood Railway, I've gone for Operation Locker because it kind of finishes the five maps. This means that we've got Caspian Border for your big battlefield experience. We've also got Propaganda for a more refined conquest experience. Zavod for arguably the most balanced vehicle and infantry map in the game. And then we have two infantry maps, Pearl Market and then Operation Locker. That being said, that's my five maps and modes for now. Of course this changes, but as of making this video, they're the five I'm going for. If you leave a comment down below with your top five, I'll definitely check it out. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and 
listening to me have a bit of a dilemma of which maps and modes to pick. If you did enjoy, leave a like down below. If you didn't, feel free to leave a dislike and remember to leave your comments. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.